third, Moses parts the waters of the Red Sea. For many years, the Israelites had lived in Egypt. Their bad King Pharaoh made them work very hard. At last, God told the Israelites to go away from Egypt. He said that he would show them the way to the promised land. Bad King Pharaoh was angry because the Israelites left Egypt. He wanted them to stay and work for him. He called his soldiers, get the horses and go after the Israelites and make them come back to Egypt. Off they started as fast as they could go. The Israelites had camped beside the sea and they saw them coming. They were afraid. Bad King Pharaoh would catch us, they said. We cannot run away because we cannot go across the sea. Moses said, God will take care of us. He can do wonderful things. God told Moses, hold out your hand over the sea. Moses held out his hand and God made a strong wind blow. It blew so hard that it pushed the water away from the bottom of the sea. There was a dry path where the Israelites could walk. The water was like a high wall on either side. The people walked quickly over the path to the other shore. The king is going to catch us after all, they cried. He will come across the sea on the dry path. Moses said, God will save us. The Israelites watched to see what would happen. Bad King Pharaoh and his soldiers started across the dry path. Then God told Moses to hold out his hand again. Moses did, and the wind stopped blowing. The water came over the path. It covered bad King Pharaoh and his soldiers. Bad King Pharaoh will never bother us again, said the Israelites. God has saved us. He can do wonderful things. Amen. He can. Well, another wonderful thing is being able to fall asleep. So why don't you go to bed now and have sweet dreams and always remember that God loves you and I love you too. Good night.